Last year, the number of North Koreans fleeing to the south reached the highest level since Kim Jong-un came to power. Our Connie Kim takes a closer look at this possible sign of growing instability in the regime. The number of North Korean defectors that settled in South Korea in 2016 topped 1,400, the highest figure since Kim Jong-un came to power some five years ago. South Korea's unification ministry says last year's total is 11 percent higher than 2015. After peaking at 2,900 in 2009, the figure dropped to some 1,500 in 2012 and had been declining further until 2015. The rebound in the number of North Koreans fleeing to the south is attributed to Kim Jong-un's reign of fear and strong international sanctions on the regime. An official from Seoul's unification ministry says there was a big increase of defections of North Koreans who lived or worked in a third country or the country's elites. The recent group defection of restaurant workers in China and the high-profile defection of the number two official at the North Korean embassy in London have raised speculation the Kim Jong-un regime is weakening. The number of defections to South Korea is expected to increase as Seoul says its door remains open to North Korean citizens and officials looking to start a better life. Around 30,000 North Korean defectors currently live in South Korea. Connie Kim, Arirang News.